Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I'm, I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nissa, and today we're gonna have a double episode for our two crocodilians, which is our American alligator and the saltwater crocodile, which are some of the bigger crocodilians out there. I know, as you know, I love the gharial. I already have videos out on that for them uh look at family zoo and uh, future life asia we built for them in both of them so i feel like it was time to make some other crocodilians we also just made some caiman um habitats next door here simply and this will also finish up this ride so we will also end up in the cinematics in a ride for the whole deal so you can see how the guest will see this anyway guys if you want to see all of this and you want to learn and hear about both the saltwater crocodile and the american alligator keep please then please keep watching and we do of course have a lot to talk about today since we are talking about two animals however since they are closely related i won't be talking all about the saltwater crocodile and then all about the american alligator i'm gonna take them step by step i will try to clarify which one i talk about and mention if i talk about other crocodilians doing this video um but a lot of crocodilians or all crocodilians are of course ripped uh, tiles uh, which you can see in their class which is reptilia of course they are also vertebrates uh, and anime from the animalia kingdom of course going a little below reptilia we come to the order with is crocodilia which they also both are and this is why they are both crocodilians but when it comes to family something changed where the saltwater crocodile is a croco delay sorry i looked at the wrong one uh, it is a crocodile day where the al american alligator is a alligator day the saltwater crocodile also have a subfamily which the american alligator is, don't have but the subfamily of the saltwater crocodile is the crocodile crocodile Nay, again, family was crocodile day, so it's an N instead of a D in the subfamily. It's really technical here. And then, of course, they also have different genus for the saltwater crocodile. This is crocodilus, uh, and the alligator is actually just called alligator, which is so easy to pronounce so i'm in love with that they do of course also have like both of them have a species name which of course are the latin name we normally would use for them for the uh, saltwater crocodile the, that is the crocodilus porusus and for the alligator it is the alligators mississippis uh, which of course is because it is also known as the Mississippi alligator, the common alligator or just the gator. Uh, here where we talk about the American alligator. The saltwater crocodile also have quite a few names, but none that really are related that closely to the Latin name. This would be of course the Indo-Pacific crocodile, marine crocodile, sea crocodile, salty, and is Duarine crocodile. Sorry, I know I butchered that, but I do the best I can here. When I built this habitat, I just want to mention because I think it may be a little difficult to see doing this video, but the saltwater crocodile will be the one closest to the hippo habitat that has the most water, and the alligator habitat will be the one closest to uh, Havana restaurant and the caimans which is the one with the um most um land this is also why i choose to give it two different waters here because the alligators do both swim in salt and fresh water how 
mostly fresh water where the uh, saltwater crocodile of course should have like the ocean salt water to swim in so i want to give the illusion here we have some fresh water which will go in a stream uh, down to the ocean and therefore we would both have salt and fresh water um i know that's a lot to ask for but that's my idea here you can also see that we will have some muddy water in the alligators however because we shared the rest of the water with the pygmy hippo i wanted to make it a little more see-through i wanted to make it a little more clean but it's the last thing i do i think it's basically the water stuff especially because i don't want to figure out a color and then not be able to mix the same color again every time i uh change something uh, within the color uh, sorry within the water um so yeah a weird thing or fact about me is that when i research things i love just to google it and not, not read all of the links not go into them but just look at you know the questions google are, are putting up there like most commonly asked questions and with salt water crocodile the most commonly asked questions apparently is do they still exist and uh, i just want to clarify here they do still exist they are i think it's like 60 thousand years old or something they are very very old species they were here of course with the dinos back then but but there aren't that many of them left uh since today and i thought they have the entire ocean they have enough space there should be millions and millions of them um there aren't there are around uh, 400 thousand of them in the wild at this point where the american alligator i thought they live in a small area here around the mississippi around south america i think it is um five million so we have a big change is numbers here their lifespans is somehow the same a little bit saltwater crocodile 40 to 70 years again keep in mind that sometimes the bigger ones because the smaller ones younger ones uh, so it makes sense lifespan uh, for the american alligator they die five years with uh, or the shortest time is five years less 35 and the longest is five uh, 10 years more which is 80 so roughly the same when it comes to top speed Speed. and i'm thinking this is on land because it's pretty slow we have all seen these attack at, uh, from water where they mostly just fly out of the water i don't think that's what it means here i think it's like how they move can move for a little longer time maybe still in water but still uh, the top speed of the saltwater crocodile is 18 kilometers per hour. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what that is in miles. Uh, the uh, top speed of the American alligator is 24, which is around, I think, is four times faster, something around there. Uh, they also have a very different way and this is maybe why there is so many american alligators because the saltwater crocodiles weigh around a ton a ton for any american viewers out there a ton is five uh, sorry one thousand kilos that would be a, a more than two thousand pounds they are heavy where the american alligators are much lighter which range for 91 kilo to 227 which would again roughly be 180 to 450 um pounds so there's a giant weight different here of course, therefore, their length is also very different. The saltwater crocodile, the big one here, can grow to 4.325 meters. 
five meters. That is sorry. I'm just sixteen point five. Uh, foot. That's a lot. <laughs> Where the American alligator only, and you can see I do this, but I do the quotation mark, the bunny ears, call them what you want, <laughs> um, because only and only that's relative, but they are only uh, growing to 2.6 to 3.4 meters, which again is. Oh. Yeah, 3.3 meters, that's 9.9 .9 feet. So I guess that a feet uh, more or less. That's five feet. Something around there. Sorry, guys, I do the best I can here. So there's a clear difference here. I'm going to skip a few details here around how they look. I, again, really recommend you go and read for yourself. It'll both links. To both information sites here both animalia but both links will be in the description below so anything you want to know that i didn't tell you it will be there go and read for it yourself it's a really interesting read but i'm gonna skip down to distribution sorry that was a hard word basically where they live and this old water crocodile lives mainly around oceania and asia more specifically, Australia, Bangladesh, Bru Bru Brunei, Cambodia, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Palau, Pap 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 Papua New Guinea, sorry, Philippines, uh, Solomon Islands, Sri Lanka, Vanuatu, Vietnam, and Thailand. Uh, where the American alligator only lives in the United States here. Please keep in mind that we have a lot more alligators, but again, the United States is a very, very big area. However, they basically mostly live in the southeastern part, which uh, it includes Louisiana, I think, as a Danish person. That's very much um, what I think about when I think about alligators, but also Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Florida, sorry, the, the southern Georgia, eastern Texas, southeast of Oklahoma, southern Arkansas, uh, and then of course uh, along the coastline of. Carolina. Um, when we look at their biome, uh, the saltwater crocodiles live in lakes, rivers, coastal area, freshwater, of course, saltwater, marine, neuritic zones, wetlands, marsh, bog, swamps, black, blackish water, uh, and in tertidal zones. Uh, where the American alligator lives in lakes, rivers, I think I repeat myself a little bit here, blackish water, fresh water, marsh, wishland, swamps, intertidal zones once again, coastal again, bog, and marine. So a lot of the places are the same. Again, they are built very much the same way, so the same places can be good for both of them. Where there is a little more difference is in the climate zones where they both live in tropical areas. Uh, only the American alligator lives in the temperate climate zone. Also, both the saltwater crocodile and the uh, American alligator do, or, or, or sorry, they are both awake at night and during the day, uh, which will <laughs> need a lot a lot of napping to keep that function going but they primarily hunt through the night where it's cold and they need to move around to stay warm again they are cold blooded though through the day they can keep that warm simply by sunbathing or in the other days where it gets too hot they will completely submerge themselves 
underwater uh, besides their nostrils and their eyes so they can still see above water and um breathe of course the american alligator then have an extra feature where they will dig tunnels under the water but like at the in edge of the water so they can still keep their eyes and nostrils above water uh, to breathe but doing very harsh with bitter conditions they can simply hide down here in the ground or in the mud which it normally would be um and keep that uh, kind of shelter down there uh, to protect themselves uh, both through the cold and the wet warm and the uh, wind and the flood and everything basically but both of them again they are solitary creatures especially the males they are very territorial and can be very aggressive especially towards their own gender where the females are a little more welcome however the american alligator again have an extra feature where the young and the smaller ones would never be able to protect themselves for a older bigger male alligator therefore they can live in not like family groups or anything like that but like just in the same area basically because none of them are big enough to take up the fight uh and safety in numbers basically if they get comes a bigger better alligator hopefully he will kill the other ones first i did also assume that the diet would be somehow the same for both of those crocodilians here but it isn't for the saltwater crocodile, it differs a little bit with age, where the small ones aren't able to eat that much uh, or big things. So it's small prey such as insects and bivalves, crustaceans, uh, as well as some small species of fish and reptile. However, the adults are big and strong, and they can take down larger prey. Uh, which could be mud crabs, snakes, turtle, birds, wild boars, monkeys, and even buffaloes. When it comes to the American alligator, they aren't that picky, so they have to be satisfied with smaller prey, especially since they are smaller, but also because it's what is available. They also have much bigger numbers, so therefore more fight for the food. So it could be like fish and birds, uh, mam uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, other reptiles, sometimes smaller, and even in insects. Also for the adults, they need to eat a lot to be fit, probably, properly. But they do still eat these because it's still food. They do, however, also eat fruit, which really was a sugar for me. But again, if you have a big fight about the food, then rather just eat what is available than risk getting killed for it. Also, their mating habits is also a bit different. And I'm just going to run through the stats because I'm running out of time here. But for saltwater crocodiles, they mate from November to March. And the American... Uh, alligator starts first in the middle of the spring and then until May, so they meet later. The incubating uh, time for the eggs would be 90 days for the saltwater crocodiles and 65 only for the American crocodile. Uh, the saltwater will lay between 40 and 68, uh, 60 eggs, where the numbers for the alligators varies a lot more from only 2 to 58 uh, the saltwater crocodile will be independent after only eight months where the american alligator will take a whole year looking at the numbers again i will just remind you it's 400,000 of the saltwater crocodile and 5 million of the american alligator However, which is funny, is first of all, they are both listed as least concern on the IUCN red list, which means the numbers are doing fine. They have some issues, of course, both of them with uh, people who want the beautiful letter from their body. 
Uh, and also the uh, meat of the American alligator. But what is very funny here is the federational government in uh, the US, of course, have listed American alligators as threatened. Not because they actually are threatened, but to make sure that you can't hunt them. Meaning that no hunters accidentally will hunt the American crocodile, which is a uh, critical endangered at this point so to make sure that no one accidentally takes a crocodile instead of an alligator we are just listing both of them as uh, 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 endangered and therefore you can't hunt either however because of the meat and the beautiful letter again everyone have their opinion about letter and fur industries but because of this, there are multiple thriving alligator farms around in the US and also other places around the world. Uh, not necessarily with the American one, but it's something that is out there. Anyway, guys, enjoy the cinematics and I will come back afterwards.
that's it everyone i hope you enjoyed it i really like how it ended up i'm again there's some habitat you like and then there's some habitat you like and i actually really like this no normally honestly i do not build so much for resilience because i feel like it's really hard to make do them honor especially the saltwater crocodile that needs a lot of water which they are often not gonna use and i also want the guests to see the animal in a somehow natural habitat i think i managed that in here i hope you are happy with it too anyway guys you know the drill like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time i upload a video really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video bye guys